Hey guys, you here, Ray, here, yay, you, you know, welcome to episode 79 of a GTA 5 car showcase series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the first van that we're ever going to showcase today in this series. It's called the Bravada Yoga, we might be doing more vans in the future of the series, but for now, we're going to do one of the vans that is actually, from what I've heard, one of the most customizable vans in the game when it comes to the visuals. So, kind of excited, I'm just going to try and quickly drive it towards the custom sh uh, mod shop. Because this is something that I wouldn't ex expect because, you know, obviously Rockstar loves to put in random cars that you can customise with many parts. And for some reason they did it with two, one of the vans in this game. I mean, I've seen a couple of vans where, you know, one of the side missions where, you know, people are getting robbed and they start to run off in the van. And it's got like this black sort of nice looking van. I think this is the one right in front of me. And it was kind of customised with nice little windows on the side. But that's all I've seen. I haven't really seen much from these I haven't really shown much interest as well so definitely gonna check out what sort of parts we have for this van as we're driving it right now it's a helicopter up there what the fuck oh yeah it's kind of next to a helipad sort of uh, hangar <clears throat> so yeah as you kind of not surprised it is quite a slow so that's expected not really looking for much for the for, for, yeah I can't get my words out of performance but we should be expecting somewhat from visual changes as we've already mentioned so let's get this right in here and see what we got the yoga the yoga I'm not sure how you pronounce that but let's see for the armor brakes so we've got bodywork here so we got let's see roof extension all right cool <laughs> and we got the panel van conversion you convert sort of I don't really see the difference what the hell is the difference here wait a minute what's the difference I don't okay I'll just go with the roof extension let me know in the comments below what was the difference between the panel band conversion and normal one I'm not sure all right so we've got front oh wow it's the bumpers well okay holy fish that's pretty cool we've got bumpers for a van see this is what pisses me off about this game man it's like They'll give you all of these customizable options for this van, but like, why? Yeah, like, why are you about. taking the piss? You know, there's so many cars out there that I would like, hope for something like this, but there's nothing on it. It just sucks. All right, primary color, law. Let's go with that lime green, because for lows, uh, this is sh this is just a ridiculous looking um, van anyway go with a yellow maybe even a orange let's go with the orange and, uh, what else we got roll cage are you are you are you are you being serious right now are you being serious right now you're telling me you're gonna put a roll cage in a van like are you are you high right now rockstar are you who made this f of suspension <laughs> oh shit that's just going real low like literally low it's going down there. Transmission. Turbo. Wheels, right? Tuna. Okay. What have we got? Mm, got a few options here. Not really sure, but I'm going to go with a slideways, though. All colour on this should be nice and uh, it's lime green. Slapping a lime green. Actually, what are you to get away? Lime green. Where you at? Oh, yeah. You ugly looking thing, All right? Custom ties. Wow. That's just so weird. I, I don't know. This is this is creeping me out. This car is scaring me. This van is scaring me. Ah, uh, cool. We can't make it fully. Go make a light. You know what? Make a light smoke. That's pretty much it. So all of these customizable options. Uh, I just purposely put everything there just to sort of slap everything on it just so what we've got available but look at this it looks completely different it's something that you wouldn't have expected we've got a roll cage inside i probably shouldn't have done a light but you know you, you can tell already um gonna rev it up we can start with the steam engine wow let's 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 go i suppose i wouldn't expect this to be really fast but obviously it's faster than the actual normal version before customizing it. Oh shit, it's, it's, it's not bad, you know, it's not bad at all. Oh shit. Let me know what you guys think. 
Do you guys think it was worth from is it was it worth putting all these options for this particular van? Is it maybe because Rockstar Games um, wanted a bit of diversity of what options people wanted to choose between vehicles because people just choose the generic cars and uh, you know what well, well it's SUVs and stuff or what they use but maybe a van maybe a cool looking van that people might be attracted to with a lot of parts just because they can use that because maybe they were disappointed that not many people were using the vans in previous GT I don't know maybe it's just, just a it's just a speculation you know I don't really know but for me personally I, I would never choose to drive ride a van ever like it's just not for me okay it's kind of up well it's questionable when it comes to multiplayer obviously if you're with more than four people let's say you're able to get into a van with more than four people I don't know never tried but you know it's pretty cool Look at this holy shit it's going quite high what the fuck <laughs> you know what I haven't tried this yet and I really want to try it I want to try and do a backflip or a front flip with a van that would be pretty cool I'm pretty sure we can do that can we pull it off I don't know maybe we can but let me know in the comments below why you think Rockstar Games would have added in all these parts for this vehicle instead of the cars that we wanted the parts for but had fuck all for it. For example, the F620, oh sorry, F, the Maserati man, the, man, all the itch. that, is it, I, I forgot the actual name, but yeah, the Maserati, that, that literally, like, that literally had no parts whatsoever, that, that just pissed me off, like, I really wanted to see some visual changes to that. There's certain cars with just very, very few options that just, you know, I don't know, but maybe I'm complaining a bit too much here, can get a bit kind of annoying, I do apologize for that, but, you know, I, I'm just coming from a guy that's been used to a lot of customizable options from the cars that we love the most, you know, from Need for Speed, so I probably shouldn't be comparing Need for Speed for this, because this game is obviously not focusing mainly on cars, but, you know, it is what it is. Holy shit. They have put a lot of effort into the types of cars you can get. That's pretty cool. Backflip. Yes. Yes. We did it quite comfortably. Not a problem at all. It's quite fast when it comes to using Franklin's ability for top speed. Wait, let me know what you guys think. Oh, look. I made my own little vinyls on the side. Sweet. Scratches. All right, well, you got some chrome bumpers in the back, and you got chroming in the front as well. And you can see that sort of thing sticking out in front of the grills. I'm not sure what that is, but carbon hooding. Don't know why that was there. Probably because they were bored. We've got a roll cage inside. Questionable. Not sure why that is there as well. But, you know, a roll is cool, I guess, in a way, in the sense that, all right, so you've got this random van with the extended hood on top, or roof, in other words. And you can use this on multiplayer and just have fun with your mates or whatever, you know, because it's sort of used as a getaway one, but not one of the, not the fastest vehicle to use or resort to, but you can still use it, it's still there. So, I'm kind of confused at the same time, don't know, surprised to suppose, but yeah, let me know. And uh, feel free to give a rating out of 10 from the original version to the actual version, what do you guys think? Don't judge me from what I just chose. I just chose this for the lows because I personally don't really like this van. But yeah, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. And for more GTA 5 videos, subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Check your sign out. Good night. Peace. Yeah! A, B, C, D, E, F, T. Hey, guys, you hear me? Hey, yeah, you genius. So this is going to be... Shit. Slightly different.